everybody, it's Peggy. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, just got some cards I want to share with you. This is uh, my January card from Paige, Stamp Girl, and I just absolutely love this. <laughs> See the nose on the snowman? That is so cute. <laughs> Cold nose, warm heart. <laughs> that is just adorable. Love it. Love it. One of my favorites. Thank you. And inside, one of her wonderful notes that I enjoy reading. And she's, I don't know whether you can see that. I guess you can. Um, she's embossed a piece to go in the inside. Really pretty with snowflakes. Really nice dye. And she included a couple of felt snowflakes. Well, those are really pretty. So once I get back into making Christmas cards, which will be, I think, soon. I just needed to take a little bit of a break. But I do want to start uh, making Christmas cards a few each month so I'm not swamped and sick to death of them like I ended up being at the end of, or at the first part of December. So um, I was busy all weekend. I've been making cards too. That's just one that I've just getting started on. Just the, the image for it. And um, don't fall. And then I made this one. There's pieces of paper on the inside here that I just stuck in here because I haven't finished the inside so I didn't want to lose the paper that matches the outside. So but anyway, I uh, watercolored the bear, and then I had some uh, little itty bitty rhinestones. These are um, the ones that you get for fingernails, but they come in handy for you know little flowers and for flowers on something like this. So I have those, and then I had to of course stickle the. Uh, inside of the other flowers there because got to have some glitter on my my paper so that's uh, um, actually I made these for um, best challenge that she's got coming up for March um, that's for the adults um, that uh, adult home for uh, people with MS so she wants a bunch of cards descend to that so um so I thought this would be a nice card for a guy and uh, again I used my watercolor pencils to color that in and uh, I don't know whether you can pick up the shine on that or not what I do um this is another one that I've done too maybe you can see the shine on that one is uh, I'll go over it completely with uh, Versamark and then the clear embossing powder and it just I don't know just sort of makes it pop a little bit more and stand out and then that's another one that I did and that's colored in with my Spectrum Noir and that's heat embossed with the gold there and I really like this one. Again, it's got pieces of paper sticking out of it. But um, I painted that with um, uh, metallic watercolors. And you can see there's a, a shimmer to that. Hopefully you can. So anyway, I thought that was, turned out quite nice. I like these, this color anyway. On the craft and the white emboss and then this one again piece of paper up um, I've had this sitting over here for I don't know a couple of months now after right after I got the stamp I had to stamp it out and play with it and then I colored it in and then it just sat there so I finally got around to making it into a card I thought it would be a nice cheerful one to send in for best challenge so I just got a 
finished the insides on these yet. They're all still blank. But anyway, that's what I've been up to. Got a pile of stamps here that are that I used. These are ones that I've gotten from eBay. They're not mounted and I don't bother mounting them. I just slap them on the the table and then ink them up and then lay the paper on top of them. Works fine for me. You just have to be careful and then it's hard to get them lined up. That's the only thing. So that was just a few stamps that I pulled out. When I uh, go to make a card or anything, I don't know where it's going to head out <laughs> from what I'm doing. Uh, I'll pick out something like a stamp. I'll stamp it and then I just sort of let the the stamp take me to wherever, whatever direction. I'll find some paper and see if that matches up like with the the teddy bear there. I thought uh, he needed something fun and colorful behind him so that's why I went with the, the striped paper to match him. And then with that one I just wanted some green to pull in the greens and it's sort of a, a mottled color green around it. So you know I may just pull out a stamp, I might get a piece of paper um, or I might have a piece of lace that I want to use and I'll I'll go from there. I know a lot of people have sketches and drawings and measurements and everything all worked out but I don't have a plan when I start mine I just let it sort of talk to me and take me on its way. Um, <laughs> Some people commented about my mess. <laughs> I got to put all this stuff away. Well, this is just some of my eBay stuff. That's just some ribbon. And all this stuff is stuff that I've gotten for a really good price. Uh, it's some lace. Uh, you get 10 yards of that, and it's usually uh, well under a dollar for the 10 yards. And I've got just about every color going, I think. And a lot of people have gotten that from me. Um, that was some Valentine lace or er, uh, ribbon that I got last year. These are actually snowflakes that uh, Paige gave me. They're still sitting here. These just came in the other day. They're the the pins and then the jump rings. I didn't have anything in gold. Uh, when I was first starting to collect all my charms and stuff, I went with silver. It's better to stick with one color and uh, sort of work up from there. But I had gotten these tassels and I have them in red and blue and I forget what other color. But you can see they're gold and I didn't have anything to connect them with. I've got some gold chain coming too. And then there's some red polka dot ribbon. A bunch of those little teardrops. I got some flowers there, flat back type. Got some stars. My friend, she really likes Eeyore. I was going to make a card four with Eeyore on it, but I think I'll make uh, maybe uh, some of those giant paper clips that Shirley had given me. I was thinking I could make an Eeyore clip for her too. And uh, that's embossing powder. And somebody mentioned about these resin uh, roses here. They're quite pretty. I have those in several colors. And uh, then we got some little red rhinestones. I think those are three millimeter. Oh, that's a little thank you gift. And uh, I really like those leaves. They come in several colors too, but I've 
I like those. And then we got some pink hearts. Yeah, I know. I have a little problem with eBay. <laughs> some gold teardrops. And, uh, and then I seen Beth with her filigree metal stuff. So I had to get some too. And then oh, I had run out of the this type lace, so I had to get that. And then there's some other lace there with hearts on it. So, <laughs> the stuff's all still waiting to get put away someplace. And I sit down here and I start making something so they don't get put away. But I will, one of these days. I'll get fed up with moving stuff out of the way and... So that's just some of the crap that's on my desk. That's what my husband calls it, eBay crap. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to share the cards with you. The card I got from Paige, Stamp Girl. And um, hope everybody's doing okay. And for the people on the East Coast, <laughs> hope you uh, like shoveling because it kind of sounds like you're in for quite a snowfall there. Mona, we'll see how much you like snow after this week is out. Okay, everybody take care, and we'll talk to you later. All right, bye.